Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Canadian Defence Minister, Bill Blair, announced that the government is considering the option of sending CRV-7 air-to-ground rockets, originally slated for disposal, to Ukraine. This decision comes amidst Ukraine's ongoing efforts to bolster its defense capabilities in response to a significant invasion. Minister Blair highlighted that while the idea of sending these rockets was initially entertained at the onset of the Russian invasion, concerns were raised about Ukraine's ability to effectively utilize them. However, given the evolving situation on the ground and Ukraine's adeptness in adopting new technologies like drones, the potential for employing these munitions has expanded. Canada, in coordination with Ukraine and its allies, is actively working to ensure that the CRV-7 rockets, which have been retired from active duty, can be repurposed and transported. This swift action underscores Canada's steadfast commitment to assisting Ukraine during this critical juncture. The Canadian Armed Forces possess a stockpile of over 83,000 CRV-7 rockets, developed in the 1980s and decommissioned in the early 2000s. Originally deployed as cutting-edge air-to-ground munitions, these rockets were utilized by Canada's allies during the conflict in Afghanistan. Their potency and reliability could now prove advantageous to Ukraine in its defense of sovereignty and territory. The CRV-7, an unguided rocket devised by Canada in the 1970s, represented a significant leap forward in performance compared to existing air-to-ground munitions of its era. With a diameter of 70 mm, these rockets are renowned for their supersonic speed, reaching Mach 2.5, enabling them to penetrate armor with heightened efficacy. Their modular design allows for the incorporation of various payloads, suitable for diverse targets ranging from armored vehicles and fortifications to troop concentrations and ground equipment. The remarkable precision and reliability of the CRV-7 stem in part from its unique propulsion system and advanced aerodynamics. These qualities have established the CRV-7 as one of the most effective air-to-ground rockets of its time, utilized by numerous air forces worldwide. The potential of these munitions, combined with Ukrainian innovation, could offer a new strategic advantage in the ongoing conflict. Canada has positioned itself as a leading ally of Ukraine since the onset of the conflict, providing substantial military assistance to bolster the country's defense efforts. This assistance has included the delivery of surface-to-air missile systems, such as a NASAMS battery with 12 AIM-120 MROM missiles in March 2023, aimed at enhancing Ukraine's air defense capabilities. Additionally, Canada has contributed to augmenting Ukraine's aerial arsenal with 43 AIM-9 missiles in May 2023 and over 250 AIM-7 Beyond Visual Range missiles, with further deliveries planned. These supplies of air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles underscore Canada's commitment to furnishing Ukraine with the necessary tools to safeguard its aerial sovereignty in the face of aggression. Beyond air defense support, Canada has provided substantial aid in other crucial areas of defense. This includes the delivery of heavy equipment such as Leopard 2A4 main battle tanks in March 2023, engineering vehicles, and armored personnel carriers. Ukrainian infantry has benefited from the receipt of 208 Rochelle Senators mobility vehicles, provided in multiple phases until mid-2023, as well as a wide array of light weapons and ammunition, including C-8 carbines, machine guns, and sniper rifles. Canada has also ensured the provision of ammunition for artillery and tank systems and has committed to supplying individual protective equipment like helmets, fragmentation vests, and night vision gear underscoring its active involvement in reinforcing Ukraine's defensive capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.